Hello my friends, I am really excited about today's video because I'm sharing with you my favorite painting from 2023. I popped off with this one, I don't know how I did it, and I don't know how I will ever do this again, we'll have to talk about that. I have been loving Clip Studio Paint for my digital paintings. It has been such a game changer and it's something that makes me enjoy painting. I always need to get the perfect mix of excited to work on a painting and I have the perfect show to put on in the background and binge. For this painting, it was Hoarders but it needs to be the perfect type of show. I can't be looking at the screen all the time and I definitely can't be watching anything that has a foreign language. So some crime documentaries are out unfortunately and K-drama is something that would be so good to pass the time obviously out. If you have bingeable shows, preferably like reality TV, let me know because that would be helpful for my future paintings. So I have been loving Clip Studio Paint. I also noticed that last year I gravitated towards a lot of warm tones. The years before I was using a lot of purples and blues in my artwork and I realized in 2023 that I used reds and yellows and oranges, just warmer colors in general. And I avoided using blues other than using them in shadows and accents and all this. It's interesting how these little patterns develop. I didn't even realize this until I put like five paintings together and realized, oh, they all are warm toned. Maybe it has something to do with just the colors that you like in the moment like right now I'm obsessed with red so it makes sense that I would be painting raspberries using vibrant colors and staring at them for ages when I've been looking at the red of the raspberry for like three hours and I look away the world looks green my tv screen looks green in my office my desk everything looks green it's so disorienting when you're just staring at these bright colors on a screen for so long and it's something that I've noticed myself getting more of is eye fatigue because of how much time I spend in front of a device but that type of thing just happens when you choose colors for a painting. <laughs> Let's take a little break and talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Bring Your Own Laptop. Bring Your Own Laptop is an online creative community that offers 30 plus classes in Photoshop, Illustrator, Figma, Webflow, and so much more. Daniel Scott is a graphic designer and certified Adobe instructor. You can work on these classes at your own pace, download resource files and cheat sheets, and watch with no ads. They also host regular design challenges, live streams, and Q&As exclusively for their members. This year, I want to learn how to use use Photoshop and Illustrator to create better thumbnails for my videos because I think they're pretty awful right now. So that's something that I'm going to be working on this year. Bring Your Own Laptop has a new year offer for you guys with 10% off an annual membership, which is less than $6.50 a month. If you want to support my channel, feel free to check out the link for Bring Your Own Laptop in the description. I love to work with sponsors that align to my messaging and channel, and I think this can be a great resource for you in 2024. Thank you so much to bring your own laptop for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's get back into my ramblings. One of my inspirations for this painting was the Disney fairies that I was obsessed with when I was younger and the books with all the drawings in them. I just bought almost a complete series on thrift books. I look over the pages and glean so much inspiration from the art style. Some of it's watercolor, some of it is digital, but I wanted to paint a fairy and I wanted to play with proportions and contrast in this piece so when it comes to colors with depth dimension I really wanted to push myself it definitely is not complicated in terms of it's not straight lines and it's not background that's complex something like a cityscape would be impossible and so annoying for me to paint but the kind of organic feel of this painting was a perfect way to push myself a little bit out of my comfort zone to work on more details while not wanting to scream and throw my computer on the ground <laughs> I don't believe I used a reference photo for the actual fairy. For the girl, I kind of just came up with it myself. So it's probably not the best anatomically speaking, but I honestly love how the body turned out and how her face turned out. Even though it's a little bit maybe off and not realistic, I think it is the perfect amount of whimsical and stylized that it doesn't look disproportionate. And something that I really enjoyed playing with was figuring out how to draw the hands holding the raspberry. And so I took a couple of pictures of my own hand holding a glass or an apple or something 
just to see what my hand would look like in that position. I think one of the funniest parts of this whole process was accidentally mixing up raspberry and strawberry leaves. They look pretty similar, they're not the same, and so I spent I think like 30 minutes or more painting what I thought was a raspberry leaf, it turns out it was strawberry, and I had to completely redo it. That was kind of frustrating. I've also never painted fruit like this, like I've drawn raspberries before, but being able to paint a raspberry in three-dimensional form with the specific angle, the highlights, and all the little hairs that stick out of the raspberry, it was really interesting to figure out how to problem solve and to make this raspberry look juicy and delicious. And knowing that I wanted the painting to have a good flow to it, I positioned the leaves in a way that the whole painting could have an energy line that was almost like an S-curve from the top leaf down to her eyes, to the other leaf, to the raspberry, to the bottom of her dress and kind of sweeping in a circular motion. I knew I wanted to paint her dress to be white because there is so much color going on in this painting and I didn't really want to have the dress clash with anything else. I also wanted to create contrast between the red of the raspberry and the dark background with the white kind of ethereal dress. I am really proud of how this painting came out and this might be really funny to hear. I feel like I've peaked. I honestly feel like this is the best painting I will make for many months if not years. I don't know how to keep this spark going. I don't know how to continue making super creative paintings like this, paintings that bring me a lot of joy, but I definitely know that the context of this piece is what brings it together for me. It's a, just a fairy collecting raspberries on the ground looking up. That's not something that I usually work with in my paintings. I just draw pretty standard portraiture, so I really wanted to create pieces with more dimension and interest in them, but it's definitely not my strong suit. If you have any creative prompts for me with my style, something you think would look great or would be a fun idea, please leave them down in the comments because I'm very often inspired by your suggestions. There are things that I wouldn't even think about. Of course, I always have to add the signature stars and tiny little sparkles and glows to the painting. I also love the little sparkles coming off of the wings. It just looks like fairy dust trailing behind her. Let me know if you like this painting, if you also feel like you might have peaked with one artwork that you've created, even though it's probably not true, right? Question mark, question mark, side eye. Feel free to leave any creative prompts in the comments. I'll be checking for something that ignites that same spark in me to create my next best painting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more because I put out new videos and shorts every single week. I love to talk about art and I love connecting with you. Have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.